This is Ainish Isaac from Ainish Kitchen. I would like to thank the team of Chatpat Recipes and the admin as well as the brand Asai Kasai for selecting me in their top 55 contestants. And I would also like to thank once again Asai Kasai for sending me your lovely products. Today, my recipe is a roulade. Yes, I am going to make Walde Choco Roulade. This roulade or the cake recipe is a flourless roulade. The first process to prepare the cream. Take 200 grams of chocolate, wrap it with microwave safe Asai Kasai wrap and microwave for a minute. This wrap will fasten the melting process. Take 200 ml of whipping cream. To this, add the hot chocolate. Quickly whisk to avoid curdling of the cream. The chocolate has mixed well and now it is time to chill in the refrigerator. The second process is to prepare roulade that is absolutely flourless. For this, we require 6 eggs separating the yolks and the whites and they will be whisked separately. Into the whites, I am adding a big pinch of salt and beat the whites until light, airy and soft peaks. I am ready with the soft peaks and they just stick to the bowl. Next, beat the yolks. To this, add 3 4 cup of sugar, 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence and whisk them until the sugar has just melted and the color turns to pale yellow. Sieving 3 4 cup of cocoa powder and fold into the yolks. Thereafter, whisk them well until all combines. The dense base is ready. Now gently fold in the egg whites in batches. We want the roulade or the cake to be light and airy. These whites will create the air in the batter. I'm lining the baking sheet with Asai Kasai cooking sheet. Another interesting product that is silicone coated and therefore it saves my time by not greasing the sheet. Secondly, due to the silicone coating, my flourless batter will not stick to the sheet. Line the cooking sheet perfectly into the tray and evenly spread the batter. Tap and bake at 180 degree for 41 to 45 minutes. The third process is to make the walnut praline. For this, I have taken 1 cup walnuts and roughly chopping them. 1 cup dates roughly chopping and will reserve them for the stuffing. While making the praline, the caramelized sugar sticks to the pan and cleaning becomes a big task. But the Asai Kasai aluminium foil is a time saver. Pull out the foil as much as you require and place it inside any kind of a pan. Tightly fold the edges, cover the pan. Make sure that you have our symbol facing out. Add half a cup of sugar. The sugar has started to melt and it looks we are safe cooking on. Advantage is not adding any butter. The sugar has perfectly caramelized and how easily the caramel is flowing down. Off the flame and add the chopped walnuts and mix well. Spread the nuts and allow it to rest and cool. A few minutes later the praline is ready. The foil is absolutely perfect and the best part is I can reuse it. Thus I am saved from washing. Crush the praline to form crumbles and this will be the stuffing for our roulade. Set it aside. The cream has chilled. Make sure no lumps. Whisk them until they are creamy and light. This will take few minutes. By this time, the cake will be baked. The cake has been cooling down for 8 to 10 minutes and it is easily coming off the cooking sheet. Dust some cocoa powder for added flavor. For rolling the cake, I am spreading out a cooking sheet and will carefully flip the cocoa powder side cake over it. Since we have used only eggs and no butter, no oil, there is high possibility of sticking to the sheet. With Asai Kasai, it was so easy to peel off the cooking sheet. Absolutely perfect. Dust some more cocoa powder to avoid sticking when rolling the cake. Holding the cooking sheet, carefully roll the sheet along with the cake. No worries if they begin to crack because this is usual as our cake is flourless. Clinch the sides and allow it to rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Now let's assemble the roulade. Roll out the cake and spread thick layer of cream. Then generously spread the crumbled praline and spread the chopped dates. Finally, it is time to make the roulade. Holding the cooking sheet, roll out the cake. Avoid too much pressure else the stuffing will come out. Seal the edges and this will rest in the fridge for 2 hours. After 2 hours, this is how it looks. These cracks are usual dust with cocoa and sugar and thus giving the rustic look. Pattern bag is ready and I have used a star nozzle. You can use any pattern, whatever you require. Adding some walnuts. So, our recipe, walnut choco roulade, is ready to be tasted. I hope you love this recipe. If yes, don't forget to give a thumbs up.